In this video, I'll be showing you how to open an Interactive Brokers account. Now, this will be a step-by-step -step guide showing you the entire process of how we can open our Interactive Brokers account. And the first thing you'll need to do is head over to the Interactive Brokers website. Once you've reached this page, we want to go up to the top right corner and we want to look for this button that says open account. So we're going to click on this and from here we can click start application. So what we're going to have to do here is create a username and password. So you just want to enter in your email address in the top box, your username in the box below, your password below that, and then you'll have to confirm your password again. And from there you can choose your country and you can click create account. So once you have actually created your account with those details, we are now able to select an account type. Now for this video, I'm just going to be choosing an individual account. However, you're going to want to pick whichever account you want. So if you need a stocks and shares ISA, for example, if you're living in the UK, you're going to have to pick this one. Now, these results may be different for you if you're living in different countries. So you just want to look through this list and you just want to pick an account which you want to open up. However, once you've selected the account that you're trying to open, we can just scroll down a little bit. And from here, we're going to have to answer some of these legal residence questions. So the first one is, do you have a non-domiciled status? And for me, I'm just going to answer no. The second question says, will the account holder be the beneficial owner of all the funds and investments that will be in the account? Now, for this answer, I'm going to say yes. But you obviously want to give answers that are specific to you. From there, we can click start application. Now, from here, we're going to have to start filling in some of the details about ourselves. So we're going to have to enter in our information, such as our name, where we live, as well as some of our personal information, such as our date of birth, our national insurance number. As I said earlier, this might look a little bit different if you're opening up an account in a different country. Instead of national insurance number, you'll probably be asked for something like a social security if you're living in the United States. However, you just want to answer all these questions honestly. And this section is pretty straightforward. You pretty much just have to answer what they are asking you. Okay, so after you've completed that section, you'll have to verify your mobile number. And once you do that, you'll get taken to this page. From here, you need to enter in your national ID for your country of citizenship. However, if you don't have it ready, you can go ahead and click no and then click continue. And from here, we can now start configuring our trading account. So to start with, we have to choose our account type. And the most common one is margin. However, there's also portfolio margin and cash. Now, I'm going to keep this set to margin. And from here, we need to answer some income and worth questions. So we need to put in our annual net income, our net worth, as well as our liquid net worth. From here, it'll ask our investment objectives and intended purpose of trading. Now from here, I'm just gonna pick these two. However, you can pick what you want. From there, it's gonna ask our trading experience and knowledge level. Now I've actually never traded on margin, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say zero years of experience and zero trades per year. From there, we can also do the same for stocks. And we can also do the same for options. However, if you're not interested in trading options, you can just untick this and you will not have to do it. From here, it's gonna ask us the level of option trading we wish to do. And there is actually four levels. So you can read through this and see which one suits you best. If you only need the basic stuff, you can stay on level one. However, if you need more, you can move up to level two, three or four. From here, it's gonna ask if we're the account employees of a publicly traded company. I'm not, so I can click no. And from there, it will say, do the owners control a publicly traded company? And I don't, so I'm going to click no. From there, there's account add-ons, and we can add the stock yield enhancement program if we like. And it tells you right here what it does. If you want to enroll, you can click enroll here. However, I'm not going to add this. From here, we have to answer how did we hear about them. And we can just choose whichever one suits us best. From here, we have to answer some treaty benefit question. And you have to tick this if you're a resident of a country below within the meaning of the income tax treaty between the United States and whatever country here. However, if you are not, you can go ahead and click I do not qualify for US tax treaty benefits. From here, we have to read this. And if we agree to it, we can go ahead and sign our name right here. From here, we get taken to this page where we can review all of our details. And then we have to click to agree to all of these. From here, you can scroll down a little bit more and we just have to sign our signature again and we can click continue. And we've now successfully set up our account. Now that we've entered all those details, our application has been sent off, as you can see, and they are now processing our application and they will get back to us to let us know if we can open up an account. So from here, we can click close. And from here, they now say that we can fund our account. So if we want to go ahead and do that, we can click fund your account. And once this loads, they will actually give us the option to add some payment details in. And that's here three different methods. They have a bank transfer, which they say is the fastest. There's a transfer from your wise balance, which is fast. And they also allow you to transfer securities. So you can choose whichever one you find easiest. Once you have your account funded, that means that once your account is fully open, you will now have money in it and you'll be ready to trade on interactive brokers. 
So this has been my video showing you how to open an interactive broker's account. I hope you found this step-by-step -step guide helpful. And if you did, please go ahead and comment down below to say it helped you out. Also, like and subscribe to see some more content like this. Thanks for watching.